Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing an all about the lip piercing video. Uh, make sure to watch my last video which was the FAQ or the frequently asked questions that you guys had on the lip piercing. If anything in this video does not answer your question or if you have another question or just curious in general then that video may answer your questions. It'll be in the description box down below. The only thing I want to say really quickly is my dress. This is from sheinside.com. I love it so much. The link for that will be in the description box too. I'm just in love with the dr this dress. It's so well made. The material is so stretchy and I love stretchy material because it does make your boobs look a little bit bigger but we're not talking about boobs, we're talking about lip piercings. So let's get into it, shall we? So my personal experience, everyone's experience is going to be different. All piercing places are different, have different rules and structures and how they operate. But for me, I went into the piercing place. I was 15 or 16 years old, said I wanted a lip piercing, um, picked out my jewelry, went into the back. She marked it with a little dot there, asked me if I liked the positioning. I did. They cleaned it, sanitized it from the outside and the inside. Sorry if I miss a step here because this was a long time ago. I'm 20, I'm gonna be 24 right away. So, um, it was a while ago. She clamped it, take a deep breath, one, two, three, whatever your piercing, piercing piercer will say, um, then put the needle in. She had the jewelry already ready, so it just went right in, whether you have a ring or a stud or anything like that, and then close it up. There you go, take the clamps off clean it again, make sure that there's no bleeding. Um, they did have me mouthwash beforehand and then explained the healing time, what to do to heal it, what to not eat, what to eat, kind of everything like that. Pain level is what a lot of people are concerned about with getting a piercing is how much is it going to hurt. Um, from my personal experience, I've had many, many different piercings. It's all your body. It's your own pain tolerance, how much pain you can handle, how well your piercer is, how quick they do it. Your tissue could be very large. It could be harder, such as cartilage. Some people's cartilage are harder than others. Smaller, bigger, really everyone is different and human body is made up in different ways with diff different people. So pain tolerance really is in the eye of the beholder, as I always say with all piercings. So for pain, for me personally, it was about a three or four out of 10, 10 being the highest. The lip piercing was one of my most easiest piercings I've ever got because there's really nothing there. there's no cartilage there's no like bony or anything like that it's really soft and when you compress the lip it's really nothing to just go right in as for healing you always want to take good care of all your piercings you have you want to always remember to wash your hands before touching your piercing that is number one with all piercings I always use non iodized sea salt and I get this at my piercing place you want to really listen to your piercer and what they have to recommend for piercings and healing because I am not a professional I'm not a piercer I just have experience with piercings um, and have healed them all correctly you could also use saline solution but I I prefer the non iodized sea salt. My favorite method to, to um, cleaning a piercing is using a cotton ball or a q-tip and a cup of the water with the sea salt in there. Read the directions and how much water and how much sea salt to put in there but if it was my lip I kind of just soaked it in the lip like this for however long that the piercing recom piercer sorry recommended for like that and then I would take the q-tip and just kind of clean around the edge like that or I would take the cotton ball and soak it in the solution and just soak it right on the lip. For lip piercings, um, you really want to keep the area clean when it's healing. Now when it's healing, what I did is I took a water bottle and I filled it with the salt solution, the sea salt non-iodized, you have to remember that. Your piercing places should supply a healing method and cleaning method if they're doing it professionally, which hopefully they are. Do your research with that. I would take a water bottle of that because if I was at work or something, if I was going out to eat, what I would do is when I was finished eating, just take the water bottle, swish it around my mouth and get that area cleaned, especially after you're done eating. That's a very good tip for any um, oral piercings that you have. Just take a water bottle full of your cleaning solution so you can just kind of clean out the area after you eat. You really can eat anything you want, just make sure you choose slowly and remember that it's there. So don't take huge massive bites, 
chew slowly, eat slower. And I would really recommend avoiding spicy foods like hot things, spicy things, as well as acidic things like oranges or lemons or something that's going to irritate the new and fresh piercing. Make sure you are not putting any sort of chemicals that aren't required for your piercing on your piercing. No chemicals. Stay away from chlorine. Like that is a killer for piercings. Try not to play with it often. I know it's there and it's a new thing in your mouth, but try not to play with it. Watch for it because it may get infected. It may start migrating out or becoming irritated. So make sure you're taking good care of it and realizing the signs of an infection and only change it when it's healed. Those are basically some of my top five tips that a lot of people look over when they're getting a lip piercing. Do not use alcohol or peroxide. Some people do this and it heals for them, yeah, but alcohol and peroxide will dry out your piercing and it also damages your body. So you wanna keep it as natural and fresh as possible. My top three things that I like about my piercing is one, it looks so pretty. I love the look of it there having a little jewel on my face. If I don't like it anymore, I can always just take it out. There's going to be a little scar, yes, but honestly, if I was worried about a scar on my face, I wouldn't have got the piercing. And third, it's me. I just like it, it's me, it's fun, it's who I am. The top three things that I don't like about it. I sometimes do bite it when I'm eating, not that often, maybe like two or three times in a year I will do that because I don't really notice it's there most of the time. Jobs don't like it, not all jobs, but if you're in a more professional setting, jobs really aren't happy about it, which sucks. And number three is that it will scar after. I know I just said that I wouldn't have got it if um, I wasn't prepared for a scar, but even though I love it and I know that there will be a scar after, you always have to have that in the back of your mind. There will be a scar, but it, it honestly, it won't even be that noticeable if you heal, that when you take it out, make sure it heals correctly. Even though there will be a scar, it sort of is like a downfall, but it's not like a breaking point in, for me to not get it. Does that make sense? I always kind of want to give you the pros and cons because some people say, oh, how great it is, how great it is, but you also have to know the cons as well. There are so many different types of lip piercings and I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. There might be more than this, but these are the ones that I basically know about, so I'm sorry. We've got the Monroe, the Madonna, Medusa, Gestrum, Horizontal Lip, Vertical Labre, Dahlia, Labre, Angel Bites, Cyber Bites, Canine Bites, Dolphin Bites, Spider Bites, Shark Bites, Snake Bites as well as side lip ones. Like I have one just on the side of my lip. I found that for me, that was the best fit for my body and what I wanted. And that's a great thing about piercings is there's not just one generic style of a lip piercing. You can kind of play around with it and make it your own and do whatever you want. There's also tons of different jewelry you can have for your lip ring um, or lip piercing. That is what makes it fun for me is changing it up, changing your different styles. I personally love just the little stud. I have a little tiny diamond stud in my lip and I love it so much. I have more little stud ones here which have spikes and balls off of them. They are so pretty. There is little horseshoe ones which I also love. I love horseshoes, and then you can get your typical lip rings, which I think are sexy. So there's many different ways you can style your lip piercing to make it your own. Talk to your piercer if you have any questions or concerns or just kind of anything. You always want to be in contact with your piercer if you have any sort of questions about your piercing. Eat slowly. I mean, there's no rush. 
you're waiting for your piercing to heal. If you do have swelling on your lip piercing, suck on ice. Honestly, that's what I did. I just sucked on some ice or just held the ice on there to reduce the swelling. If you are worried about a professional setting or in a job setting where they don't allow piercings, I do have a few um, tips for you guys for that. Ask or they may just tell you what they feel about facial piercings. Some places, I've worked in places before where they don't care about piercings, so that's great, that's a plus, but I've also worked in professional settings where they don't want them at all on your face, nothing. Some places will allow the nose ring because it's kind of, you know, I don't know why they allow the nose ring and not like a septum or a tongue or, I don't know why, because a piercing's a piercing to me, but whatever, um, some places are like that. So a lip piercing, if it's healed, and it's healed correctly and it's healed for a while, you can take it out depending on how long you're gonna be at work for and how comfortable you are with taking it out for um, a substantial period of time. What I did lots was I just took off the ball here, so I just kind of had the bar or post in my lip, but you didn't really notice it because there was no ball at the end. I did have to kind of keep it in place um, with my tongue or my teeth, but it sucks in a professional setting. You can also um, get a retainer for it. Retainers are awesome for piercings. They're just basically a clear, rubbery jewelry that you can stick into your piercing so that it's not as noticeable as like a metal or a sparkly or a colorful jewel in your body. And last but not least, you wanna do this for you. Don't get a piercing for anyone else. Don't get it because, oh, you saw it on one girl and you liked what it looked like on her. You want to do it for you and say, you know what? I'm going to rock that. I love it. I'm going to do it. And that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any more questions, I may have answered it in the FAQ video, which will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and for requesting this video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Can you squirt water out of it? If so, can you show us? If you've never tried, can you try in the video? Please and thank you. I will insert a clip here. Let's see if I can do it.